Okay, I think it's close enough to six o'clock that I'll call a meeting to order of the Hardin County Board of Education, and we got a good-looking group out here tonight, full house, so we like that. Yeah. And uh, first of all, uh, we'll say the pledge to the flag, and I think there's a group of young ladies here from G.C. Burkhead. If you all will get up here and lead us, we'll say the pledge of allegiance to the flag. to have a moment of silence for Jimmy Maul as a transportation uh, uh, monitor, is that right? Yes. Monitor. And uh, Brad Mink, one of our Central Hardin students that uh, passed away this past month. So just a moment of silence for those two folks, please. Thank you. And uh, board commitments, Dawn, do you want to? I've got them. To improve our effectiveness, the Hardin County Schools Board team commits to keep children first, listen, be prepared, be professional, demonstrate financial stewardship, represent the entire district and support district goals, and support board decisions. All right. Thank you. And recognitions. Mr. John Wright's going to take care of that. Yes, yes, sir. You have a resolution of recognition for some uh, John Harden students that we'll be recognizing this evening and then our Stronger Together Award, um, Stronger Together Awards uh, that we'll be uh, distributing this evening, Mr. Chairman. So if you'll right. pass those, we'll take care of business. Do I hear a motion? So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second to uh, pass the uh, Motion for the recognitions there. All in favor, saying five, saying aye. 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 Opposed, motion carries. All right, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Well, those John Harden FFA students come on up out, out of the crowd. Make your way up here. You know who you are. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and give them a round of applause, too. I have to get those young ones to scoot over there for you somewhere. Not all, not, all, not all of these students are here, but they are among the, this list here. Addison Cheney, Nakelia Diaz, Maya Ferguson, Hayden Gibbeton, I knew it was right. All right, Dawson Hall, Anna Lloyd, and Benjamin Uptograph. These students, uh, Mr. Chairman, earned first place in the 2022 All Tech Innovation Challenge. Students who participate in the All Tech Innovation Challenge propose a real life problem that can be solved with STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math a STEM-based approach, Altec uh, Elizabethtown provided $10,000 to implement the project at the Winter School. And these students will partner with Warm Blessings to provide ways to stop food inadequacies with their Aqua Food Lab. And Mr. Chairman, if you haven't, uh, board, if you haven't seen that, you need to stop by to, it is, a, it is a work of art to behold. So, and Mr. Hall is here as well. Uh, he has led them fearlessly through this. And, but uh, these are all freshmen, so, we got three more years of this, is what I, what I understand. Great deal. And their, uh, their presentation, it can be found on HCEC TV's YouTube channel, and that, they just do an amazing, amazing job. We had several uh, student groups present that day, and uh, Ms. Morgan can attest, they were all, all wonderful. So uh, next, we'd like to bring up four James T. Alton students. They are... Um, our Student Stronger Together Award winners, Ms. Emmeline Ashlock, McKenna Brown, Jaden Conley, and McKenna Ulam. Are you guys here? <laughs> Mr. Chairman and Board, uh, Emmeline, McKenna, Jaden, and McKenna are eighth grade students at James T. Alton Middle School. These students have volunteered in exceptional education classrooms at James T. Alton since September. They come during their enhancement time, which is a time set aside for students to receive extra assistance if it's needed. So they sacrifice that time uh, to help the exceptional education uh, learners at James T. Alton. They assist and are true friends to these students. Their level of dedication to the task is immensely overwhelming. Their caring for the students they tutor is truly rewarding. 
They look forward to going to help and are truly disheartened when they are unable to do so. Um, they even use their reward times that they earned in class to assist in that classroom, passing on the reward they earned for themselves to further serve others. They provide a high level of social interaction for these learners and tutoring through board games, activities that take them on adventures around the school. <clears throat> they give these students opportunities that would otherwise have gone unrealized. Most importantly, they are learning life lessons themselves, which is certainly the reward of kindness. JTA teacher Samantha Daniels says that, and I quote, they are responsible, kind, and hardworking. They work with our exceptional learners on social skills that only peers can model. Friendships are so difficult to teach, and these students model kindness and acceptance. It makes a world of difference. Our classroom behaviors have even improved when our exceptional learners are preparing to attend class with their friends. Thank you, ladies. We appreciate you. And uh, moms and dads of these, of these young ladies, can you stand up and wave so we can congratulate you as well. You great. amazing students, Mr. Richard Rowland in the back. He works with these ladies on a regular basis, so thank you, Mr. Rowland. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, ladies. We appreciate you and, your, and the dedication you have. Mr. Brandon Ambler. Yeah! Sorry, I saw Brandon. Go, Brandon! Go, Brandon! Go, Brandon! He, has, he brought a fan club. <laughs> Mr. Ambler is a custodian at Meadowview Elementary School and has been a mentor to a fourth grade student throughout the school year. The student needs an outlet for some extra energy that he or she has. And Mr. Ambler has taken the student under his wing to help him, uh, to help him be a custodian in training. What, has meant, what was meant to be a couple of days for Mr. Ambler has turned into an everyday event. Each day the student spends time helping clean and beautify Meadowview Elementary. Mr. Ambler has used his time to mentor the student, develop a supportive relationship, and teach him life lessons outside the classroom. The student has blossomed, and his relationship with Mr. Ambler has led the student to a successful school year. Ms. Prater just went on and on about Mr. Ambler, and certainly well-deserved. Thank you. That sounds like a really good plan. I think we should start this in every school. Well, hey. <laughs> Sounds great, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Bryce Shoemate, are you here? Or somebody from Hardin County EMS, Emergency Management? No, they could not be here, but they are our, our Community Stronger Together Award winner. They are true friends to Hardin County Schools. The staff there is dedicated to HCS students and, and staff safety. Hardin County Emergency Management has orchestrated and been a part of several crisis drills on our campuses. They also are critical in consistent edits, revisions, and additions to our district management, our crisis management plan. As uh, strategies change, Hardin County Emergency Management is always quick to provide those updates. Hardin County Emergency Management also provides the district with rapid and detailed weather provides solid pace and instruction that ultimately will affect student and staff transportation. And most importantly, the staff at Hardin County Emergency Management is always quick to respond in the event of a crisis with steady, calm, and unwavering support. So I know Mr. Shumate was trying to be here tonight, and uh, we appreciate them and, and all they do for our, our students. So thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. <laughs> and I also would like to uh, brag on John Harden High School. The boys uh, were in the first round of the state tournament today. They were not successful, but you know, without a loser, there wouldn't have been a winner. So it takes them all, and uh, we appreciate the, as far as they made it. The boys played hard. Uh, I think they uh, might have just got a little bit out horsepower there today, but uh, it was a good game and uh, good sportsmanship, so that's, that goes a long way. And, uh, and you all try to wear something besides this green. I know it's St. Patrick's Day, but <laughs> I thought I was in Mead County when I walked in here. <laughs> So we will uh, continue on to the meeting. If any of y'all don't want to stick around for this boring part, it'll be fine, And but you're welcome to stay. All right. Uh, I think we got some uh, information on fuel savings, and Mr. Chris Quarter, is he? Yeah, here he is. Back there hidden in that sea of green. Hey. Whoa. Uh, 
Good evening. I'm here tonight with good news, actually really good news. Uh, yes. In front of you, you kind of have a, a savings recap, um, just a little background on that. In January of 2021, Mr. Stith and myself uh, met with our representative from Petroleum Traders um, about being able to lock in a contract price on fuel uh, as kind of a budgeting tool. Um, and I'm going to be honest with you, um, these things go either way. This one's been a a good thing for us. So I'm going to take the credit this time, but if we do this again and it fails, Mr. Stist is right over there. Uh, I now, wonder why you were here. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's been a really good thing. As you can see, um, we, ha we have a guaranteed price on diesel through December of this year. Um, right now, as, as of today, um, we'd be close to $2 a gallon we're saving. Um, this, these numbers are through February of uh, this year. Um, the March numbers are going to be better than the February numbers. Uh, I talked to our rep today. Um, it jumped 40 cents today on the, on the market. So um, we're in a really good spot, um, and we'll be talking down the road about what we can do maybe to be in good shape come January around so we don't get – we have to give all this back. Um, but this has been a great, great deal for us. Like I said, um, it's, we've had savings every month uh, with it. Which they and that that is real dollars. Um, so, you know, if you take that out and things continue the way they are, we're, we're looking at probably saving a million dollars in fuel by the end of the year. So that's a, that's a good thing. And I know people like to hear you know when we save money, because I get the calls that all we do is spend money. So <laughs> I'm I was told to be brief because supposedly there's basketball on tonight. So I'd be <laughs> but I'd be glad to take any questions. The game's not important tonight. We're 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 working on four hundred and. Yeah, fifty-six thousand dollars of yes, sir. fuel savings money. Yes, sir. and that is that, that was a good move. I yeah, appreciate nice y'all's work on it. Thank you. Uh, Thanks. You know, supposedly oil went down, and now you're saying it took another forty cents a day. Unreal. Yeah, um, it's a. There's a lot. Obviously, there's a lot of things involved. You know, um, it's, but who you know? The good news is we're on the good end of it right now. It's it's hard to explain and. Uh, a lot of people never have the opportunity to know what the cost is or the savings and fuel something that what are you we, gonna do? You're we, gonna pay the price to get it. I mean if you're gonna transport your students to school, somebody's gonna have to pay it and it, Well you could you, as you can see, I would be in here asking for a half a million dollars. I understand. You know, um, if if we hadn't done this. Yeah. We'd so, probably be telling you we didn't have it. Yeah, and <laughs> then we'd be in a real bad way. <laughs> yeah, but but I appreciate you guys and your support and all you do for the transportation. All right. We Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Okay. And now uh, focus on academics. Greg Sutton. Yep. Right hey, Mr. Sutton. <laughs> all right. I the cheering get... section's getting weaker. <laughs> I didn't get booed. <laughs> That's what you kind of kind of gauge it on. Our uh, student technology leadership program, we have a lot of students here tonight to showcase that program and we kind of integrate some of our project-based learning uh, principles and these students get to create and design different projects uh, using digital content. So uh, they compete local, regional, state competitions and I think that Hardin County always fares pretty well. We've got a lot of great leaders at the school. We have Director of Innovation Brandy New present tonight and she kind of guides that thought process for our district. So very proud of our STLP programs. That's all we want to showcase for you all tonight. So I don't want to steal Brandy's thunder. We'll get Brandy up here and let her, uh, let her talk about all the great things going on with that. So Brandy, come on up. Come on, yeah, not my thunder. It's the, the kids and the parents and the teachers that are here. But just to tell you a little bit about it, um, KDE puts on this huge competition every year, and it is student technology leadership uh, program. I think the what we've picked up on here in Hardin County um, and what we've really leaned into this year was the L in that, the leadership. Um, this gives kids a chance to shine, and it gives them to, a chance to, you know, flex their muscles and kind of show what it is that they're doing for their community, thinking about our work ethic standards and, you know, what kind of people they are. They can choose to do um, one of two kind of competitions. 
Uh, one is they take a digital, they make a digital project, something like a public service announcement or a video or art, and they turn that in to be judged, and they'll find out April 20th at Rupp Arena with thousands of other children. If you're not doing anything April 20th, everybody's welcome to come to Rupp Arena. It is amazing. It's literally thousands of kids from across the state um, showcasing their work, but they'll find out that day whether or not they've won or lost, and so some of the projects that we have here tonight, I know we have a big crowd from GC Burke head to brand new coaches so thank you for that Sarah Bollinger and Ashley Hawkins and I'm just going to kind of like name your project and stand okay is that cool you ready so I know that we had a project dealing with work ethic and awareness about work ethic correct okay you want to stand or like wave this is your chance all right <laughs> There was a group that did a public service announcement about disabilities with possibilities and how we can look at disabilities and other um, friends in our building and uh, see those as abilities instead. Ms. New, if they can stand up, that way the parents who want to Will you all do pictures? that? Your parents? Okay. Stand and stay standing. That way you're never standing alone. Promise. Stand. The two groups I've mentioned already. You'll not be standing alone. Everybody else is going to join you. All right, Kentucky Travel, someone talked and did a really, really cool video about the things that are going on in our community. And then uh, someone did an awareness video about PAWS, which is the PBIS program at GC Burkett. Did I get everybody's? I think so. Everybody stand up. That way your parents can get a picture. Ava, what did, I, did I forget yours? Yes. What's yours? Cyberbullying, thank you. A public service announcement about cyberbullying. So they can pick anything, but if you notice, they all pick something that was focused on kind of dealing with um, raising awareness of a social issue or some sort of issue in their school. So there's that leadership part for us. Thank you all. We have. All right, you all want to sit? In addition to turning in that digital project, I know, they're like, yes, um, or a product. You can do a project. Kids pick, and they can make it anything they want at all, okay? Um, and we had a really, really good turnout for STLP this year. We wanted to really kind of re-energize after last year. We have 10. Um, they have to do a regional competition, and they have to present their thing and talk to, you know, judges from across the state. And we have 10 that advance to the state competition. And I know we have with this tonight Coach Tammy Riggs from Cecilia Valley. <laughs> And right behind her, would you guys stand all together? The kindness cart. <laughs> Recognizing kindness of others in their school and rewarding that. Um, we also have Kelly Bauckham and from East Harden. <laughs> she has two teams, and we're actually going to show you all one of their projects here in just a second so you can really kind of see what one looks like. Um, we have Crystal Miller from Heartland and her group that did a project talking to other <laughs> talking to other kiddos about digital citizenship, how to be safe online and how to be friendly online. And then you all presented that like to the school and they did a parent night and all kinds of stuff with it. Yeah, that one was cool. Um, we have Amanda Urbans in New Highland. Uh, they had a deaf awareness PSA that they are now turning into an entire deaf awareness um, movement and website in their school it just keeps getting bigger and bigger their project does stephen baker from north harden had and has a team that has advanced to state north middle had two teams with uh, kelly everhart that were going to state and amanda patterson from vine grove uh had two teams i don't think any of those are here that are going to state also uh with their projects and then i forgot madison walters and the group from radcliffe did you guys get to stand as your student here and we're gonna make her stand alone. Sorry, doing doing the announcements for the school, which is a service to the whole school. So, like I said, we wanted to acknowledge that, acknowledge their success and their leadership, and invite anybody who wants to come see the fun. And I encourage all of you guys uh, not to let your projects, you know, drop now. You can keep working on them for the rest of the year. You can even work on them for the rest of the year and then make them better and return them in next year. Right? Even bigger and better and stronger, unless you're a fifth grader. Well, even if you are a fifth grader. All right, I'm going to stop talking and let Ms. Bauckham's group show us a, an example real quick. This is kind of what they would do for judges whenever they go to be uh, judged. They're going to do a shortened version for us, okay, this afternoon. You guys come in.
Okay, so this is our project that we have been working on for the past few months, uh, and then we're going to state with it and performing it in Lexington. Um, so we created this video for new students and upcoming sixth graders. It's like a short video showing um, like around the school and what we have to offer. So just in case kids don't get like really scared when they come, so they don't like get lost. And for security reasons, we didn't show like main hallways and how to get to classes, just in case someone was to come to the school and try to harm anybody in any way. Okay, so I created a, me and my group, which they won't hear, we created a website to show what you could do online, to show like what you could do with different stuff from Chrome, like how to download something to your Chromebook, or how to group tabs. So let's say if you're working from online, and you may not have the experience or knowledge of how to do some things, you can easily access them. And we made short videos on how to do them. And we can also turn this into longer form videos. Let's <coughs> say if you don't understand them, you can go to longer form videos and do it. You want to watch first? Uh, scroll down. There's another one. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, you can watch the first video. First one is how to, this is how to group tabs. Yeah, important to note that the East Harden kiddos were like, it was kind of scary when we came to this brand new school the first day and we didn't know how to get around. So they came up with a way to solve that for other kids. And Colton said that he learned a lot when he was doing online learning, that he thought that he could teach his fellow classmates and his teachers. He wanted to point that out, <laughs> that they can also use the website. So. Yes, we're going to send you the whole page. <laughs> He's going to, you, you email him now, not me when you need it. All right. um, anyway, so just, did I get everybody? Awesome. Great. Wanted to celebrate them. So thank you all for that. Can one of those students show me how to get emails off my phone? <laughs> no, uh. The old visitor signed in, John. All right, we'll mark that one off. Uh, construction updates. Uh, we got anything? We we're progressing. You got anything you want to specifically talk about, John? Or uh, I think we're okay. You've been sending us a few pictures, photos, and so forth. Uh, we are uh, still moving slowly. Slowly but surely. Uh, Right. The drilling uh, is going slow for the geothermal. The big gym is getting ready to get opened up on the end if they haven't done it this week. Have they already done it? It's open. Uh, not for the public. We're talking about open to, for work. So uh, it'll be closed here for 18 months or so probably. Uh, I think uh, they went ahead and said that the graduation is going to take place at Broadband Arena. Is that right for sure? We are researching that. Researching? Yes, sir. Okay. They're looking for an alternative site, so it's a sad situation, but nothing really big enough in Hardin County other than that gym, and it don't quite let all of the students, grandmas and grandpas and nieces and aunts and uncles in, but anyway, uh, they're looking for a site. So that'll be announced a little later. I knew that was an option that they were trying to get into, and I think Louisville gets, of course, first turn on those, so when they say they're complete, we'll get an answer, I'm assuming. Yes, we are hoping to get a contract from them in the next couple of days, so okay. we'll be able to finalize that and let our parents know. Uh, on down in the uh, <coughs> consent agenda, we're, uh, we got... Uh, some change orders in there, uh, 63, 64, and uh, at East Harden, and, and the BG4s, 25, 30, 97, and 110 that we're going to attempt to approve tonight if we get uh, three out of four votes here. Mr. Segal, I'm sure, is sorry he's missing tonight, but he uh, told us this was his first meeting he'd ever missed, and he thought he was doing pretty good. And I said, well, I think you are too, so we let him off. And so everything else uh, is 
Pretty much normal on the uh, agenda tonight. Uh, we're uh, going to approve uh, declaring 11 buses and two vans surplus to be sold uh, at uh, seal bid auction, looks like this time. And uh, we've, we're going to approve a $1,000 contribution uh, from the uh, board school funds here for project graduation at Central. John and North Arden High Schools. And uh, we're approving the draft district facilities plan from the local planning committee. Uh, this, I don't think it changed anything. It's just got final approval tonight. Is that the way it was? Yes, sir. The LPC approved the plan last night, and it's, uh, uh, with your blessing, it mm -hmm. passed it. We'll send it back to the state. Yes, right. Uh, we're asking for approval from an easement for only an RECC at James T. Alton. I'm sure that's something they need to cross the property for there and uh, pretty much a procedure that we can't get around. And uh, we're approving declaring the side goals of the Central Harden gym surplus. Uh, they're not going to use the side goals there with the new addition and the gym with all the goals are going to be ceiling mounted now instead of uh, post in the floor like they are and it's kind of a new thing seems like everybody's going to so I'm sure that's the reason we're going with them and uh, they're going to not use the side goals so we'll declare those circles. Uh, anyone have any questions on anything or you want to pull anything out? If not, uh, we'll need a motion to approve the consent agenda but if there's something you want to ask about uh, more than welcome. Well, I reviewed everything beforehand uh, online as we can do, and I had no problems with any of it, so I will make a motion to approve the consent agenda. Okay. I have a motion. Do I hear a second? Second. I have a second. <clears throat> also, I noticed on here, uh, I, I skipped over it, but we're approving 10 Central Harden students uh, to graduate early, so... Uh, some of these students that when we do this, they're moving on to higher achievements or whatever, and, and really they've met all of their required uh, academic they needed. So uh, this sometimes is a great help for them. They can go on and uh, I forget, was you in your report or we had several students that uh, <coughs> earned what, well, four? We have four who have uh, earned you asked me, uh, what is that, John? The four students. Um, Their credits for college credits, uh, wasn't it? We have the two EC3 students who earned all well, four. Earned all four uh, certifications in health science. Right. All four certifications in health science. But we also have the four students from Central who are in the national Oh, they're national merit finalists. National merit finalist, which yeah. is a huge achievement mm -hmm. for those four <laughs> students. <laughs> so those very, are, very proud of those students. I, I think it was something, but those are great achievements. I mean, you know, it's just something that makes you proud of your students. And, and being through the two years that we've had behind us, they've had to do well, okay. really well. Absolutely. All right. I have a motion and a second to approve a consent agenda. Any, uh, no other questions? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. And uh, that takes us down to uh, action items. We got anything we need to bring up on an action item tonight? No, sir. New business. Anyone have any new business they want to? I have one thing I wanted to bring up, and I didn't know when to bring it up, so I thought maybe. That's good. And this is sort of informational, but I would, you all know that I'm sort of the tennis uh, enthusiast among the board members. Uh, <laughs> I was made of aware either yesterday or the day before that the USTA, United States Tennis Association, has a grant program available to schools to assist in either uh, building new courts or in redoing old courts. Uh, 
and I looked at their application process, and before we could apply, because I know there had been some consideration in redoing the courts at Central, you have to be a, quote, organizational member. That is, either the Hardin County Schools or at least the individual schools, and I would think it would be better for Hardin County Schools to be an organizational member of the USTA. But if we're a member, we can apply. There's no guarantee that we'll get any assistance, but there is a real possibility. And not only is there assistance offered from the national USTA, but the state, or rather the southern branch of the Tennis Association also provides grants. So if we're seriously thinking about doing any upgrades to any of the courts that we have, it would be worthwhile, in my opinion, to be a member so that we would have an opportunity to apply for these grants. And as I understand, we have some excellent grant writers yes, at this I point in Susan time. Ryan so this would be something else yes. that we could put them on to take care of. Absolutely. Hmm. But I understand they might cover up to half the cost of doing something that like this. That would be this. fantastic. That'd be good. Yeah. I will have Ms. Ryan research that starting this evening. Do you know what the fee is or anything yet? Do I know what the fee to be a member? That's the thing. Yet? I don't know how much okay. it costs. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to assume that it's, I hate to assume, but it's probably several hundred dollars or something. I don't know. Okay. But. Uh, we'll check it out. That would be the next thing to find out, I suppose, is how much it costs us to, to join. But uh, Appreciate that. I'm not making a motion that we do that, but I'm <laughs> yeah. just informing you all at this point in time. <coughs> and, Farm Bureau had several scholarships out there too, I think, but I feel sure that we've got people watching those. So. Yes. With your all's yes. permission, I will inquire further as to what's involved in becoming a member. Be Absolutely. fine. Sure. Okay. Good. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, any other new business? Superintendent's report. Well, since he brought up tennis, when I retire, I plan to attend the U.S. Open that happens in Cincinnati on the first year uh, because it's the first week of August, and that's always been the opening school and not a good time to miss. But I will have tickets in a year. Or, really? Uh, that, the I have year been that to I Cincinnati retire. before to that facility. I thought maybe it's, you were going to play. It's very nice. I'm not going You're to not play. You're not going to play. You're going to be an observer. <laughs> I'm it's, going to observe, but... If you like tennis at all, well, you know, you tennis is a sport you can play most all your life. That and ping pong. <laughs> <laughs> you can sit down in a chair at the end of the table. But, yes. Yeah, so, it, no, for the superintendent's report, so March uh, 13th has come and gone. Uh, but what our staff members <clears throat> have done over the past two years. Um, really think they deserve to be honored in Frankfurt by all of our <clears throat> legislators. Uh, to have representation, encourage them to do that because uh, no one, when we had a meeting here with all of our principals on that Friday, uh, we left with a plan. We had worked numerous hours um, the day before to come up with the plan, uh, got in the car and on the radio, uh, Governor Bashir uh, gave very different guidance and had to come in to a group of about 60 people to say that's not the plan we can use and we had to regroup immediately and immediately go uh, with Ms. New's help uh, to have online learning uh, immediately. We anticipated that we were, would be out for about two weeks and then we would be able to return. Never, and I can say never in my wildest dreams, did I think two years later we would just be getting back to normal. Today as I was walking down the steps uh, with John Harden High School playing on the court, it occurred to me that two years ago Everyone was in that arena, and they ended the game and sent everyone out. So to see the crowd there today uh, was miraculous uh, because of the support that John Harden High School team was have receiving, but also where we have come in the past two years. So just a huge shout out to all of those who made that possible. After spring break, uh, we will have furniture back in our classrooms. We will... Uh, have tables uh, with the number of students who can sit at a table. We won't be going to every other seat. Uh, we will be having everything back to normal. We will continue cleaning procedures that we have found very beneficial through this process of cleaning doorknobs and handrails on a daily basis. So we picked up a lot of great things to continue doing, uh, but after spring break, we fully intend to be back to post uh, 
pandemic times, and that is what um, we plan to do. So uh, thanks to our families who have been patient with us and understanding throughout these two years, but a huge shout out to our faculty and staff who made these uh, two years as successful as they have been. So uh, that is my report, Chairman. All right, thank you. And that takes us to uh, maybe an executive session, and I think we need one for uh, pending litigation. Yes, uh, was Mary Lou Marin, did she make it to the meeting tonight? She's back here, okay. She was uh, doing some sit-in time there while we were having meetings, so uh, sent me an email a little earlier and said her daughter maybe had to come with her, but that's fine. <laughs> Bring them anytime. We'll sign that paperwork for you after a while when you need it. All right. You need, you need a motion to go into the I do. Uh, I would move that we go into executive session for the purpose of litigation. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor, second five saying aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carries. Uh, we probably uh, will not, we, we won't be taking any action after yes, this. Sir. So, uh, board calendar. March uh, 23rd, 945, we got a WHAS XL Award winner at Heartland Elementary. Congratulations to Heartland. And then uh, April of 4th through the 8th, uh, <coughs> spring break. And uh, 7th, April 7th through the 8th, KEA offices closed. So uh, next month we'll be at Woodland Elementary and <coughs> back here at 6 o'clock. So we'll go into executive session, and y'all are welcome to stay till we come back, or you're welcome to leave. Appreciate you coming. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Stith, I believe you're coming to the executive session with us. Does.